what you're going to do is you're going to measure the length of the spring. You're going to measure this part to here. And then you're going to hook this part to here and go to here. You got about 31, 32 inches. This looks like it's going to be... A, I just arrived at a job. Uh, sounds like a broken spring. Maybe it's just a service. Who knows? As I was pushing the button, Old remember. one works. You never use this one, though. Right. <laughs> this is the genie. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, you do have a broken spring. It's a yellow spring. light. You have a broken spring right up there. You can see it? Right there. Oh, God. And we tried lifting the damn thing, and we can't because it's broken. Yeah. How so. does it do that like that? How did I see it? No, 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 no. Yesterday it worked. Oh yeah, it breaks. Like that one right now is still good. It's still wound up. That's why these cables are on over here. Oh, that's so we tried lifting it. it. Yeah, it's too heavy now. It and went up they, they, one inch. Well, those are what pull on these cables well, that go to the bottom. Oh, well, this is all loose too. Oh, you're uh, just gonna change that and then it'll go? Yeah, then you gotta you gotta take off the cables. Do a, you gotta do a spring change? Well, can you do all that with the car sitting here? Yeah, will it go up any? The. I, you want a ladder? <laughs> Did, did we ever change like one did. of them? See, I don't know what you did. I thought you put the whole door in. We might have, but I remember coming here a couple of times. I know we did the opener, but uh, did because we? Because it's a different brand. This is Liftmaster, and this was yeah, Genie. This is this is a better one. You did this. I know, but if that Genie was on here, it would do the same thing. It wouldn't lift. All right. It's the door's too heavy. See, these are wound up. You can't tell them right now, but they're wound up like 30 times. They don't make lighter doors in the future. Yeah, they have the steel doors. They're lighter. I don't want that. And, and then th those those springs pull on that shaft. They're tightened into it. Oh. And then they pull on these cables, which are tightened into the drums. I can't believe I thought so it was the, they lift the your other door. thing, as long as you're here, this is funny, because I really thought of you. I have your sticker. You see this? Yeah. It's loose, like. Oh, okay, so. There's probably a screw in the back or something. What's it? Uh, yeah, See? I could put a hollow wall thing I in there. Thought... The doors, these openers are designed to lift about 30 pounds. So when your door's balanced, it can lift your door. But right now, it's probably about 75 pounds for it. It's so heavier. No, no, it is, but okay. it's just these doors. You only got one spring pulling right now. So, but it'll be fixed today. Yeah. Let you me... don't understand. If I, uh -huh. I just thought, I won't be, if God forbid, I, you know, I might need really? to take them somewhere. But anyway, let me make sure I have the springs, but I, I'm going to be able to fix it. Don't worry. All right. <laughs> okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to measure the length of the spring. You're going to measure this part to here. You got about 15 inches, and then you're going to hook this part to here and go to here. You got about 31, 32 inches. This looks like it's going to be a, a brown. Let me count the coils. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you got two and three eighths wire. It's actually like a green, but it's a little shorter, so I could probably use a brown or a red. And then this one is, and it's probably a 33, and it's a gold. So. These are inch and three quarter diameter. You must like these cars though, since you, you don't even work there anymore and you're still driving a Toyota. Do they ever break down? Someone told me, a mechanic told me, buy a Toyota because they, they go forever. My family is still in the back. Yeah? You still what? We own the land. I mean, never mind. They We got engaged and we got married in three months. No, oh, but you had to go back to New York at some I point. I went back to New York. Have you, have you been to England? Yes, of course. Yeah, you can't even understand them. Yeah. <laughs> My uncles and stuff were talking. I go, what the hell is he saying? Yeah, you have to listen. That's pretty good. But you know, a guy that worked for us, Marty, he, he was born like eight months before me in that hospital. And I went to school with him and everything. Oh. You, you might have met him before. Did, I didn't know you had him. Yeah, it was bigger before, but everyone knew Marty. I've even put in a swimming pool before. I built a swimming pool, but I would never do that again. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I like, like your husband, I called people. What I thought it was when you told me on the phone, you told me the thing was running, and I knew this was new. This was running? Yeah, so I, this thing here, yeah. I thought someone just pulled it. We did. 
I know, but I thought that's why it wasn't working. Oh no. But uh, I think a lot of times people will open the hatch back on their car and when they close it, they hit oh. the rope and it disengages it. That makes sense. No. Yeah. Oh, that would have been no, Can you imagine if that's all it was? It happens all the time. Sometimes I go there and they have the broom in the way of the camera. You know that. Oh, that's what I thought. I thought that table was in the way of the camera. The table? See, I know about the light. This one is green and this one's yellow. Because one's a sending eye, one's a receiving eye. Oh, so it doesn't mean it's broken. Okay. No, no, no. One's amber and one's green. Oh, okay. You got to know these things in life. I do. <laughs> and I'll fix the wall button too. All right, so I should write a check. That's what I do. What do you want? Check? Well, yeah, just wait, wait till the end. That way I can write it and hand you the thing. Right. You can write it. Yeah, check is good. Okay. That's what most people do. All right. All right. Text me when you're ready. I'll okay. This is an example of the shaft being dented. I'll get this one moving a little for now. Now we can pull this off. One. So I'm going to give her a 10% off. And then it's going to bring it to, I think it's $1,165. Okay. So the left hand's going on first, which is this one here. And usually the new springs are a little bit wider, so they go over easier. Okay. It's one. I'm putting it in, I always make sure I'm putting the right one on. So I don't do the whole job and find out I put them on backwards. Then we we're gonna knock this one down to there. Tighten it up. Don't worry about the cable yet. Okay. Then we we'll take this cable, make sure it's free going down there. See how it's hanging there. And you're gonna put it in here. You're gonna hook it onto the first groove. And then you're gonna wind it around like that. Okay, that's that little white strip there is gonna hold on. And now there's a little tension on there. You always wanna make sure that one's a little tighter. Because when you tighten up this one, the way the threads are, they You're working, nobody's in the garage to bother you. Basically, doing this all by yourself. Nice and relaxed. Tightening up a couple bolts. I use an open end on this because it's too close to the wall. So this one you gotta use an open end. I use this, usually use a 7 16 for these, although they're 3 8 but you don't gotta be exact. It'll be too hard to hook it on every time. I'll go one more. One. Now, to the center bracket. Get those on. So that should be this bearing. There's a bearing right here, this thing. Make sure this fits in one of the springs. And see how it goes in the center? If this were on the other side, this part on this side won't go into the hole. So you gotta make sure this goes into the spring. And then this goes, what I do is I line these set screws up. So when I end the spring, I do it as close as I can. So, the, so they end up where I can tighten them and they're not against the wall. These lags here, you wanna put the bolt in this way so that the head of the bolt goes all the way in and the nut is on the other side. If you do the other way and the nut's here, it's harder to get to these, these bolts if you gotta take them out. So. So you put one in there. Put 
one in there and I go get my 916 socket which is right here this is 916 and then you can kind of float the shaft out you see when I move it where it sits naturally and you tighten it you don't want it going too far forward or too far out then I would try to start with this spring that way when I'm done with the other one I can pull the vice grip off at the same time so now we just got to wind the spring with these wind up bars right now there's no tension on them we're gonna i'll count that as a quarter turn two thirty so now that i got thirty on there i'm gonna pull just a little farther so i can get to the set and that way i don't gotta pull the bar up okay that's one Sometimes the set screws, they, they vibrate. The set screw will vibrate out. So I, I get the old spring. I just take one out of here. See? It's missing a set screw right there. Probably just vibrated out in the truck. So, now we got... What I'm going to do here, I'm just going to put the... I, I want to pull it up. That way... I can get to both of them. Then I can take the vice grip off. See that? So, now we're just gonna lift the door up. Perfect, door's open. We go ahead and tighten up all the nuts on the door and fix that button over there which I told her I'd do, which is no big deal. Just because she's a repeat customer. Sometimes I like doing favors. Okay, if you look here, this thing's not even attached to anything. So this is what I'm talking about. People, they don't really deserve to do garage doors. Okay, door should open pretty good now. The trolley has to catch on, so right about now. Okay, let's go up. Perfecto. Check out our wall button. It's an easy fix. And this there, it's loose. So we will take this out. See how the hole there? That one right there. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just move this over. Okay, I had to move it over here. So, so, yeah, so what you're gonna have to do is you get a big fat piece of duct tape or something and put or it over you, this. No, no, no. I'll get a plate. I'll the, have Jeffrey get a small plate and put it. Or, or you could get a piece of wood and mount a piece of wood on here and then mount the wall button, and drill through the back of them. Oh, forget. But this was cut out by whoever ran this wire oh. behind the sheetrock, yeah. and then this is where the top screw was going through. And oh. someone tried to put it here, but then the bottom one would be up here. But it so, never was loose till just recently. Well, it's not loose right now. And I put okay. the I put these. See, see these little things. I put yeah. them in there. You can't even put one in here. So it's just. All right. I Wait. try I try to put it here, but this whole piece is loose right. because of this piece. So I, ha I have to move. It's nice and solid on there though. Okay. But they do they make a tape for when people have holes in the wall. They can yeah. put it over and then you just mud over it and sand it and paint it. But that's what I would do. I just get that piece of tape and put it over this. Yeah. You probably well, won't even, you won't even need to mud it. Just put the tape over it. Okay. And then uh, I tighten all the nuts. Sorry. I, uh... My advice to you is uh, take the course, learn this trade, and you can do the same thing. I feel good. You know, some people are working all week or two weeks, three weeks, even a month to get that. So I do it in basically one hour's work. And are my hands dirty? No, my hands aren't dirty. 
But, you know, if people, you know, we've gotten called to repeat, you know, they're mixed on uh, whether they want to take our course because it's an online course, you know, the course that we offer. And uh, the, uh, the online course is incredible, actually. We have so many people that have gotten into this business. Uh, they've called me. We're actually going to be filming uh, the first woman that took the course, and she's going to be doing her first job coming up here. Uh, she's going to start marketing herself. She's getting all her truck ready and her tools and all that, and she's all happy to go out there. She said she's a little nervous, but she wants to go out, and she's anxious to start, you know, doing the repairs. So, so even women now are taking the, our course. We never thought women, you know, would be interested in this, but seems like women want to do this as well they see them how much money you make and I guess it's not very easy to make money doing anything else like this and not working very hard so uh, this is a great trade you know people going to school I had a guy last week said he feels like he's wasting his time going to school because most people that go to school they end up being in debt when they get out they you know they got to start at the bottom of whatever they do they're not gonna just go right into what they were doing It'll take them years before they even make or see any money, and and who knows, by then they'll probably get burnt out and quit. But the good thing about this is you can get right in, in 30 days you'll be making this kind of money. Forget the school, keep your money. As you take the school, it's only $1,499. You're never going to get a course that cheap. Uh, we are offering the, we're going to go back to the hands-on, but the hands-on is going to cost you guys a pretty penny but I mean to do it right we gotta we gotta charge that it's just no way around it so it's gonna be about almost 20 grand it's like 19,900 or something so we're gonna be having that because so many people ask about it when we're trying to keep costs down for you by doing the one for 1499 the thing with the 1499 as well is you get to it's a lifetime membership so if you forget something or you need to you know freshen your mind when you're on a job you could actually go out to the truck go right to they're all labeled too if you forgot how to reset cables for instance you can go right to where it says resetting cables and you can watch a little five or ten minute video on there and it'll show you exactly how to do it and, and how, you know which one to do first and, and all that stuff so the, when you get the hands-on class once you leave there you're on your own so if you want to touch it so bad that's not gonna really teach you you got to understand how to do it and how they work and that's what we teach you on the online class so to me the online class is even better and it's a lot cheaper so for an hour of work i could pay for the whole class and that's my education you guys are paying all this money to go to college and there's no guarantees you got 10,000 people going to the same class all over the country i mean then you got to go compete for jobs and work for other people and get up early work all day wait for a check here, I already got my checks. I'm driving away. I can go cash them. I can go deposit them, do whatever I want with them. And I can, you know, you're working basically right off the truck. There's no, there's no lifting, none of that stuff. So this is a great trade. You guys should think about getting into it. If you want to learn the trade, you sign up at www.garagedoortrainingschool.com. Everybody in this business that's doing it is making a lot of money. So. If you want to get in this business, the real way to learn and the only way to learn is to go to garagedoortrainingschool.com. That's at www.garagedoortrainingschool.com. Check them out. Sign up. And it's very reasonable priced. I mean, don't even think about the price because you make it back in one day once you start doing repairs. All right. Over and out.